Hi there, my name's Danny Kingston and I write a blog called Food Urchin and I also write for Great British Chef so you can find me on there and today we're going to make a celebratory fish pie. Ordinarily a fish pie would have this mashed potato topping wouldn't it and you'd probably sometimes add a bit of cheese on top. We're going to get away from that and we're going to use some puff pastry instead. Now I'm using puff pastry today because I really like the idea of having this lovely crispy lid, flaky and full of lovely bits of flakes and texture coming off there. But I think we can just take it a little bit further by using some of the leftover pastry. So what we're going to do is put a fish on top and I'm going to show you how to do that too. So to start things off we're going to simmer the fish in some milk and we're going to add some aromatics in there. Got the onion and the peppercorns and that will take probably about five minutes just to come up to temperature. Right, I'm happy with the simmer on that now, so I'm just going to gently lower my haddock in there. Now I'm going to cook this haddock for seven minutes tops. And in goes the prawns. Again, we just want to give these two minutes in the poaching liquor there. Right, we're just about there. I'm quite happy because the skin is starting to flake away. Those haddock are good to come out. Okay, so I'm melting the butter right down here. And basically, the golden rule for any roux is you need to use equal amounts of butter and flour. So, for instance, you, for this recipe, we're using 30 grams of butter and 30 grams of flour. It is always worth taking some time when you're at this stage of making your roux. Don't think as soon as you've put your flour in that everything's done. You really want to try and cook that flour out, whisking away for a minute or so. Okay, that's a nice pale biscuit colour now. So I'm quite happy to just slowly pour the milk in. Add just a little bit at a time. So there we have just a basic white sauce there. So we've gathered all our ingredients together and they're all smelling great. Uh, so all that's left for me to do here is to just get everything into the sauce and get it all nicely mixed together. Here is my hot smoked salmon, which you would have noticed that I've done no cooking to uh, because of course the whole process of hot smoking cooks the fish through itself. So. This is really starting to smell good now. In fact, I'm not even sure I want to put this in a pie. Let's add spinach. Now for the last bit, I just need to add some nutmeg. And I'm only really gonna grate in half a nutmeg here. That'll be just right for this amount. So keep the mix going and then drop in a nice dollop of cream. And of course, we can't forget parsley, fish's best friend. Okay, I'm ready to roll out my puff pastry now. So what I'm going to do is just lightly flour the table and we're just going to work the pastry just so it's nice and ready for that glorious lid that we're going to make for the pie. Okay, and I suppose what we're aiming for here is to roll it out to the thickness of say a one pound coin and of course to make sure that the area is enough to cover the, the, the top of your pie dish. Just going to scoop that in there and then just gently lift it over. As you can see, I've got the excess here, so I need to get a sharp knife and just trim that off and I'm going to crimp that down using a fork. Now we just need to give the top a quick glaze before we finish it off with that fish. Right, I'm happy with that. Now this is where all those art lessons back at school come back into play. If this is going to be a celebratory fish dish, I absolutely and 100% endorse that your fish has a smiley, happy face on it. Put that in the centre and give that a final leg wash too. Well, I'm very happy with that and I can't wait to see what it looks like when it comes back out the oven. 
So there we have it, my celebratory fish pie, which would make for a great alternative on an Easter Sunday. Get rid of that lamb and put this in the center of the table and everyone's guaranteed to start smiling. We've got the puff pastry there, nicely crisped up. We've got the luxuriant filling, that cream, the haddock, the salmon, the prawns, the spinach, the nutmeg. Everyone is really gonna look forward to diving into this one.